Hey everyone, so today I wanted to make a video all about a crazy experience I had. <laughs> okay, so this literally happened to me a couple weeks ago. I had just finished hanging out with like my two best friends and we had spent like five hours hanging out together but they both needed to go home so I dropped them off and then I was like, what am I gonna do now? Like it was only 10 or 11 o'clock at night. Night was still young and I didn't want to go home. So what am I gonna do? find someone else to hang out with. So I started texting people, going through my phone, just like usual stuff, like, hey, wanna hang out? Hey, wanna hang out? No one's available to hang out. And then one of my friends is like, oh, Nathan, let's hang out. And she's like, where are you? And I'm like, okay. I had like parked, I didn't wanna go home yet, so I parked in this like random, it was like a miniature strip mall. Like it had like a convenience store and a liquor store, but they were all closed and like none of them had signs. It was really weird. I literally could not tell her where I was cause she's like, oh, I'll meet you. Cause she was driving with her other friend. And she was like, oh, I'll meet you. Where, where are you? And I like couldn't figure out where I was. Like I, there was no street signs. There was no signs on the buildings, which was really weird. Like, I don't know, it was just really weird. I like took a Snapchat video and I was like, girl, come, like pick me up. And I like just filmed my surroundings cause I knew it was near her house. So like, I assumed she would just like recognize it and go there. And so she's like, I know where you are, Nathan, I'm coming. I basically sat there and waited for like 10 minutes just like playing on my phone. And by the time she had arrived, I had drinking so much sweet tea. I got one of those giant large sweet teas from McDonald's, which are so good. I always get half and half, half sweet tea, half normal tea. Yeah, anyway, so I had drank an, an entire one of those like an hour later and I had a water bottle in my car that I was drinking the whole time. <laughs> that I was drinking the whole time and I just really needed to be like I needed to be so bad, so bad. Like I was gonna pop. Taylor rolled up right next to my car. Her friend was in the car. I never met her friend before. She was really cool though. She was really nice. Her name was Taylor too. Both of them were Taylor. So I like get out of my car and I walk over to them and it was like raining and everything. And I was like, oh my God, Taylor, I need to pee. I'm literally about to pop. Like if you stabbed me, just yellow liquid would pour out of me. Like I'm about to pop. And she's like, okay, Nathan, like, um, what should we do? Like they have like these frappuccinos in the car and they were delivering them to these random boys. I don't even know who they were. She was like, Nathan, we have to deliver these frappuccinos to these boys. And I was like, okay, whoa, I can do that with you, but I need to pee first. We drove to the 7-Eleven. I ran into the 7-Eleven and there was this like old man at the counter. And I was like, oh my God, sir, do you have a bathroom? Like I really need to pee. And he was like, I'm sorry, but we only have a bathroom for employees only. I guess you'll have to just find somewhere else. So I was like, shit. So I just like ran out. I ran to Taylor's car. I'm like, they don't have a bathroom. Everywhere else is closed. Like, what am I going to do? And she's like, Nathan, we need to deliver these frappuccinos. And she just pointed like to a vacant part of the parking lot. And she's like, go pee by that fence. And I was like, okay, one, I'm classy. Two, that's gross. Three, I haven't done that since I was in like sixth grade, maybe. I didn't want to pee outside. So her and her friend were like, Nathan, like, you just have to pee outside. Like, we have no time. So I ended up, I was like, oh, this is going to be horrible but whatever so I just slowly made my walk all the way there and I was like halfway to the fence it was literally pretty far it was like 200 meters away from her car I don't even know how long 200 meters is but it sounds about right so while I was walking over there I like got on my phone and I texted her I'm like is it even legal to pee outside and I'm pretty sure it's like illegal to pee in public places but it wasn't public it was like off a little ways into the distance so I walk all the way up and it's like really really dark everything's closed like there aren't even street lights where I'm standing and it's like there's a tree and like dirt around it and then there's like a fence and the tree was like right up against the fence and I was like what is behind this fence so I was like looking and I realized it's an entire neighborhood behind that fence but I was like whatever like I needed to pee so bad you know when you like are full of pee and you like push on your stomach and it hurts really bad that's like what it was like oh my I just needed to pee so bad. Like, I haven't had to pee that bad in so long. And it was also freaking me out because I had watched a video on YouTube, like, a couple days before that. I literally remember it. And it was all about how holding in your pee for long periods of time is going to mess up all the muscles in your bladder. And it's going to fuck you up for life. And when you're an old man, you won't be able to pee anymore. Like, I was scared that was going to happen to me. I just really needed to get it out of me. So I undo the zipper. I unbutton the buttons. And I release. And I'm standing there. And I swear it was the longest pee of my life. Like, so it literally it just took so long for me to pee and Taylor literally texted me She's like what the fuck is taking so long and I was like I just needed to pee bad So I'm sitting there peeing and then I hear something I hear like steps or like shuffling So I like turn a little like I'm I don't like turn around and like face him or whatever But I like just kind of turn my head around and there's this old man and he's standing at the edge of the sidewalk Literally 10 feet from me staring at me and I was like, oh my god I was scared it was gonna call the police because in the comments down below tell me is it illegal to be in public? I feel like it is. Anyway, and it was so funny because it was almost like he was just taking a walk or maybe he was walking to his car. I don't know. There were no cars around me. I just 
Don't know why he was walking. Maybe he heard me peeing and he was like confused so he walked over. Who knows? But he was this old man and he walked over and then he sees me. We make eye contact and then he just turns around and walks away. And it was so awkward and I'm like still peeing. Like I would just leave at that point but I was still peeing like I couldn't stop. So then I'm like thinking to myself, I'm like, oh my god. He looked a lot like the guy at the gas station. And I was like, oh my god, it's totally the guy at the gas station. Once I ran out, followed me or something and like saw that I was peeing in public or something. I don't know. I, and so I finished peeing. I quickly, I run to the car. I'm like running to Taylor and Taylor and I get in the car and I'm like, oh my god, guys, that was the most traumatic experience of my life. And I started telling them how the man watched me pee and it was so embarrassing. I asked them, I'm like, did you see him? Like, was that the man that was in the 7-Eleven that walked out and is that the man who watched me pee? And they're like, no, I don't think so. Like, that man literally came out of nowhere, Nathan. Like, I didn't see anyone come out of the 7-Eleven. Like, it was just some random man. So, um, yeah, I thought I'd share this story with you because a lot of you guys asked me for story times. I don't know why. I've literally, I, like, on every, every time I post a video, I'll be, like, reading the comments and I'll be like, Nathan, post another story time. I love your story times. Do a story time. So I thought I'd do one for you. So, yeah. Leave a comment down below. Where's the weirdest place you've ever peed? Slash, has anyone ever watched you pee before? I'm sure, knowing my audience, there's probably a lot of crazy stories you guys could tell me. Okay, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos by me. Okay, bye!